They said you was doing too much because you was able to acknowledge the value of their time. They said you was doing too much because you know how to respect them, not shortchange them, abuse them, allow them to feel like they past live day to day. They didn't understand the difference when a real one actually meant what they said, that they was real with them when it came to the pillow talk. You know, the real one math was adding up, but they shortchanged themselves when they came across someone who didn't understand their vision. You say you're looking for something, but when a real one steps in, the communication is not one-sided. It's reciprocated with respect, loyalty, I got your back, something that you're not used to, somebody being in tune with you. It's a thought process for me, meaning what you're saying is saying what you mean to be real with yourself. You say you want to come out your comfort zone and acknowledge somebody real, genuine, and true, but you push them away. When you least expect it, ask it for someone real, someone kind and respectful, someone that doesn't remind you of your past. But when you least expect it, you're only reminding yourself of your past because at the end of the day, you're living in a mindset of creating a narrative of a description that somebody truly wasn't. Only to realize at the end of the day, the real one walked away today. When you come to terms, you never had something real and genuine, so you pushed it away, not realizing what you had in your face that day. When it came to an equal exchange, when it came to conversation, something that you always wanted, someone being on the same page as you, not shortchanging you, but you played in your own face when you came across a real one. And when a real one chooses themselves in the most healthiest way, not to be funny, but they love themselves, they acknowledge themselves like, hey, I know my value. Be mindful when you're out here wasting people's time, trying to value someone's time, but don't know how to. Saying that you're looking for something real and genuine and true but don't know how to value someone's time. Be mindful when you're valuing someone's time. Mean what you say and say what you mean that you're real with yourself when you can actually look at your reflection of yourself to recognize that, hey, I could be real with myself to be real with the person I want to entertain today in the most healthiest way when my past don't live here today. Mean what you say and say what you mean. It's the thought process for me. You only get that one person once in a lifetime that's willing to actually bring the best out of you to motivate you, respect you, but you dim your own light when saying that you're looking for someone real. When you shortchange yourself, now realizing what real really is, but you ain't real with yourself. It's a thought process for me. Now you genuine love, respect. Leave innocent people alone that's willing to value someone's time in the most healthiest way. They understood their past and their trauma. They understood that unhealthy relationship. They understood what they went through. They understood that I don't want to be reminded of my past. I'd rather choose my best self vision of myself to understand my future. It's not that someone thinks they're better than somebody. No, they're not in competition with you. No, they love themselves. They acknowledge the day. I want someone to meet me halfway and mean what they say and say what they mean without wearing a mask. Because when a real one walks into your life, they're not wearing a mask. Loyalty and respect is a package deal. Something that you're not used to. Somebody being real with you. And switching up on you. When a real one comes to your life, they don't have time for those mind games. The switching up game, they don't got time to play in their own face, let alone waste their own time. Because they have the light within them to see their future, to better days ahead. It was God's plan. Something that you can't get in tune with. Is yourself. Leave innocent people alone when you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship. Stop playing these mind games and having third party conversations about an innocent person. Just for the, the narrative to be turned around how y'all sneak this in an innocent person because they love themselves and y'all see potential in somebody that could bring the best out of somebody in a healthy way. Leave innocent people alone. This type of stuff happens every single day. It does, and it's so unhealthy. You're trying to acknowledge somebody's time. You're trying to value someone's time. You're trying to get someone's attention and you get their attention just for you to fumble the table, just to play in your own face. It's a thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone. There are genuine people out here that are looking for genuine companionship, that are looking for genuine people to come into their life with no malicious intentions to wear a mask. Leave innocent people alone. Stop the violence. Now you genuine love and respect. Have a good day. I gotta go.